So this is the light reactions because uh, it requires light, the photon of light to strike the thylakoid membrane. Okay, and light reactions occurs at thylakoid membrane and it will produce 18 ATPs and 12 and ADPH. Apart from that, oxygen is produced. So this is light reaction, so we can call it as light dependent reaction. Next, the ATP and NADPH will be used in dark reaction. So Kelvin cycles is an example of dark reaction. It will utilize carbon dioxide. Okay, actually six molecule of carbon dioxide is used for carbon fixation to produce sugar which consists of six carbon. So it requires about six molecules of carbon dioxide and it enters the carbon cycle apart from using the 18 ATPs and 12 and ADPH. This one and ADPH act as the reducing agent. So from the dark reaction, it will produce this oxidizing agent, which is NADP plus and ADP with phosphate for the synthesis of the ATP. Uh, the photon of light strikes the pigment molecule at photosystem 1, then it keeps on transferring or transmitting the light or transmitting the energy from one molecule to another. And at the same time, the electron will be excited from one molecule to another molecule because it uh, will be uh, excited to higher energy level until it reaches the chlorophyll A, which is located at the action center of P700. So then, the chlorophyll A uh, energized and the electron is excited and transferred to the primary electron acceptor. So they're going to be a hole here at P700. So the hole is known as P700 plus. So the hole of electron then will be replaced by uh, electron from the electron carrier from the PS2, which is PC or plus 2 CNN. So electron from PC we replace the hole here, electron hole at P700. Okay, from primary electron receptor, the two electron will then transfer to another electron carrier. 